OK, let's have a word with uh, Stephen Sylvester. Stephen's a sports psychologist. Let's try and get inside the minds of all of the Leicester players. Stephen, welcome to the programme. Thank you for your time. If you were assigned to the Leicester City dressing room, what would you be saying to this team at the moment? Well, not a lot. I'd be trying to stay out of the way, really, and just observe and monitor and look at whether the players and the staff and the manager are maintaining the momentum of what, what they've developed. So they're not derailing. They're not letting our ego and selfishness play a part. So they're doing so well, actually, in this sort of situation, when they're doing as well as they are, your input, by definition, is as minimal as you can make it. Yeah, it's having mere presence. So you don't have to say anything to have an effect. You can be in the environment, but what you're doing is you're sense-checking whether the team and the players are maintaining their feeling. So are they happy? Are they free? Are they being consistent in training then on a Saturday afternoon? Are they maintaining that? What happens with, with teams that are about to cross the line is they start to derail. They start to get selfish. And when we start to look at ourselves, we lose the ability of being glued as a group. And what Ranieri's done very well here is an, a, create a special environment where players who have got something to prove and something to show the world are playing for each other. When you say players start to get selfish, is that because, Stephen, they start to think, I'm going to be the one that scores the goal that will, that will win us the title, I'm going to be the one that gets the big move to so-and-so and start earning ludicrous money? Is, is, is that what you mean by that? No, not at all. I mean, we get close to winning and fear raises its head. And when fear comes in, we start to think of survival, so we think of ourselves. And that's an unconscious process, but we, look, we think win-lose. I don't want to be a loser. And as soon as you think win-lose... You're already lost. You're slower to the ball by milliseconds. You're, you're slightly different in the air or your positioning is not good. Other players pick up that and that's like a virus sweeping through the team that doesn't allow the team to play with absolute togetherness where you just show a eye and you move together and you work together. Stephen, you say you wouldn't say very much. What would you advise Claudio Ranieri to be saying? Uh, I, mean, I think that's a great question because his leadership has been immense. What he's done all season is lower the expectation of the, of the media, of the, of the supporters and of the um, uh, players themselves, and particularly the opposition. You can see uh, uh, Wenger's coming out with, you know, um, Leicester are the favourites for this weekend. Leicester are now in pole position, and he's doing the exact opposite. So his leadership is immense. Keep the song going, keep smiling, keep consistent, play to our strengths, forget who we're playing and treat this game like any other game and stay as a collective. It isn't about the individual, it's about the group. And what's been unique about this whole group of players is they want to do it together. And when you want to do it together, money or, or status or recognition doesn't come into it. They just want to be remembered um, for, for, forever, as it were. Stephen, just a final question. You say that you wouldn't say very much if you were near the dressing room, but obviously you'd make yourself available and it may be a situation where one or two of the players who are beginning to feel the pressure might just yeah. sort of sidle up to you and say, not, not in front of everybody, Stephen, but can you just help me with my nerves a little bit? Yeah, no, absolutely. My, my, my particular skill is monitoring changes, emotional changes in a player. So what happens is I get brought in and players get accustomed to me being around. I can pick the ball bags up. I can put the cones down. I can have some banter. I can make coffee with a player. And being in and around the players, I can start to see people who are starting to feel the fear of crossing the line. Yeah. That moment when you've got your emotions raging because you're thinking, this is my chance. We can win this. And that's when you see people make mistakes and lose the togetherness. So the key element here is prevention. And so when you say you don't do anything, you are doing something by being in the, in the environment and proactively looking for fear for taking its part on a player. So the, the whole process is about working. Are we preventing? Are we maintaining momentum? How are the forwards linking up with the midfield, with the defence? Are we winning second balls? What are we doing to keep that momentum going? How can we have a quick win? As soon as the whistle goes against the Arsenal this week, what's happening? And it might mean sidling over to um, the coffee area, having a coffee, and the forward might say, do you know what, Stephen, I'm feeling this. Do you have anything about the weekend? And it's those little chats of monitoring and preventing selfishness coming into a player's thinking so that the collective can grow and be cultivated. And with Ranieri's experience, he is so 
such a master at being able to know how to cultivate that softness, but that skill and that hunger and that determination where it's not about the money, the fame, the recognition. As you said in your broadcast earlier, some of the players have faced rejection, and that's perfect because the rejection means they have to play without ego. They have to be without themselves in order to achieve for the badge and for the club. So it's much more value-based winning. And if Leicester stay with a value-based way of playing as a group, and that means staff included, it will take them to winning the title. And I've just got a feeling. Lovely, Stephen. It's really interesting. Thank you very much indeed. We really appreciate your time. Uh, Stephen Sylvester, a sports psychologist there. What I find is always really interesting, you know, you talk about the fear of getting relegated, don't you, or the fear of losing your job when it comes to football. The fear of success is just as big a one, and it's, you know, it, 